Okay, let's open the image in Photoshop and duplicate the layer and convert it to smart object in order to keep the frame safe. Yeah, I can open a few useful <coughs> a render element. Of course, in this case, we don't need <coughs> a lot of them, but it, I just open some of them to test. <coughs> First, <coughs> let's do just some color corrections. Yeah, if you convert your layer to smart object, it's always possible to change these modifications. It's in fact a non-destructive manner. Yeah, I, I increase the texture amount to give it a little bit of more detail. to see the difference between before and after applying the color correction. Yeah, we can also increase the clarity. I guess we, this much is enough. <coughs> and we can just test this. In fact, color mode. If any, any of them work. Yeah, but here I, I will just apply a light vignette to keep the focus on the lampshade. Yeah, I guess that's enough. Let's add some chromatic aberration by using the lens correction filter. makes it more natural or totally more interesting look. Yeah right since as I say because it's a non destructive manner <coughs> you can always modify these changes. 
it looks pretty good in my opinion. I will duplicate the whole layers to soften some uh, jagged areas using the Photoshop Blur tool. Okay, let's see if we can use any of these uh, render elements. However, in this case, as I say, I guess they won't be very useful as it's a very simple scene. And it seems pretty easy. Yeah, let's uh, add another uh, lot layer. This seems to give it a little bit of more film look. Uh, here in Photoshop, I mostly use the Fuji or Kodak filters. Like this one or the Fuji one. Yeah, this one works well, but of course we also decrease the layer opacity or the filter amount to 30%, so it just doesn't wash out everything. It looks balanced this way. <laughs> You're again blurring some jagged areas. Yeah, we can also retouche this area of the brick walls. It's, it, it was a little bit annoying using the stamp tool. Softening these borders, some of them, a little bit, of course, with a very low amount. I'm trying to just mask this area. By applying a layer mask. Where it looks. Okay. Okay, then we make a copy of all the layers. And 
apply a high pass filter. And we will use this layer as sharpening layer here by putting it um, on the overlay mode. I also de decreased it a little bit. Something like 70%, 80%, something like this. Yeah, we, we can also use this render element. For the glow effect. On the lampshade, and we, have, we can put it on screen mode and erase the areas that are not around the lampshade. Yeah, and now the only thing we need to do is to apply a uh, blur effect. Yeah, this way. Yeah, 40 is, is enough. And of course, decrease the layer opacity to something like 20 or 30 percent. We just give it a slight hollow. Yeah, yeah it's finished, and thanks for watching.